In this short and easy tutorial, I will show you how to back up your documents using Windows Native Backup. First step is to get an external storage. It can be a hard drive or it can be an SD card, micro SD card or USB key. The important thing is that it stays plugged in to your computer. To know the volume of the external storage you're gonna get, go to Explorer and then click this PC and then on your Windows Drive Double click it, go to users, and right click your username. Here my username is KST. Right click it and choose properties. You see here that the size of my user is around one gigabyte. So get an external storage that is approximately three to four times bigger. So one gigabyte is nothing. I have a micro SD card that I'd be using that is 128 gigabyte. After you answer the SD card, go to step 2 to configure the backup settings. Click on Start and then click on Settings. Go to Update and Security. On the left side, click on Backup. Then, under Backup using File History, click on Add Drive. Now Windows will search for the external drives or the external storage. You will see it will find two external storage. I have a USB key that I will not be using, the first one. The second one is a SD card of 128GB. I will be selecting this one. When you select the external storage you want, the backup will be turned on automatically. As you see, it says automatically backup my files and it's turned on. Now, if you leave it at this level, the backup will be performed automatically each hour. If you want to control it more, you can go to more options and configure it more deeply. So let's go to more options and see the settings in it. The schedule for the backup is every hour. You have a choice of every hour, every three hours, every six hours, every hour is good. Keep my backups. so. You can choose to keep your backups forever, which is not recommended. Until space is needed, it means when the drive fills, Windows will automatically delete the oldest backup, or one month, three months. For this purpose of this video, I'm gonna put it until space is needed. And then here you can change the default selection of the folders. Windows automatically selects the most used folders. If you want to add another folder, you can add it here. And this is to exclude the folder. Let's say in the music, you don't want to include another subfolder. You can explicitly exclude it here. Let's click on Backup now to perform an initial backup. You see Windows is saying backing up your data. So now the data is being backed up from these folders to the external drive I selected. When the backup finishes, you see here that it puts the date and the size of the backup. It's not a big backup because this is a user that doesn't have many files. Let's say now you want to change the drive of the backup. To do this, always in backup options, you should go there and click on stop using drive when you click on stop using drive, it will stop using it, but it will not delete the backups on it, of course. You see the backups stay there. And you'll designate a new drive. So you go back and you click here, add a drive, once again, and you do the same steps as we did before. Let me show you now how to restore a file or a folder. I will simulate that we lost a file. I will be deleting this file without going to the recycle bin. So this is a permanent delete. Let's say we want to restore this file now. To restore the file, you should go to its parent directory. Here it's documents, so click on this PC, right click documents, and click on restore previous versions. 
select the backup you want. Here I will be selecting the oldest backup. And to restore only the file, click on the arrow next to open, select open in file history, and then select the file you want to restore. Here it is the PowerPoint file that I want to restore. Select it and then click the green button. The file will be restored to its original location, as you see. Now, if you want to restore a complete folder, let me simulate now that we deleted these pictures and the folders in them. So right click on pictures, select restore previous versions. And let me select here also the oldest backup. And now I will be clicking on restore to restore all the folder. And here, as you will see, let's go to pictures and you see everything was restored to where it was before. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you all for watching.